All right, guys, here it is. Welcome to 6921 Hetzler Road. I'm staying on the driveway. As you can see, this sits way back off the driveway. Have a tree lined driveway going up here. We have just under 48 acres. The home is over 2,800 square feet. Older, kind of historic type home, but been modernized for all of the amenities that you need. 33 acres are tillable. We, this place is loaded with deer, turkey, wildlife. This is a nature lover's dream. You see that spec way back there? Zoom in as far as my camera can go. That's the house. So if you're looking for privacy, look no more because you just found it. Now, I'm gonna turn the camera on and just drive up the driveway just so you can see the setting of this house. It's just fantastic. So forgive the bumpiness, but we're gonna drive up to the house. All right, so here I'm turning in. There's our little entry. And there is another driveway way on the other side there to the left. It's a shared driveway that goes to the cell phone tower for them to uh, maintain it. But we here do not maintain that driveway. That's something that they maintain. Really, it's not really used to get to the house. It's just to use to get to that cell phone tower. So you see what I'm talking about here going through this tree line. It's very, very nice setting here kind of like you're going back in time driving through here and again very very private and go from the bushes over to the trees we have a soybean field over to the right and all of this soybean field here to the left is with this property and coming up to the roof, the lower section of the roof is just a couple years old. Top section of the roof, I think, is about 10 years old. Over here to the right, we do have a little hidden soybean field. Over there to the right, an old barn. That's been torn down, so we have some uh, rustic barn wood down there. And guys, the property goes way back. I'll get you some better views. The little circle driveway as you come in. Nice little set of garden over here to the left, a couple sheds, a barn up here. This is just a great setting. Great place to have get-togethers and parties. I'm going to stop right here, and actually I'm going to keep going. Chicken coop, chicken chickens are negotiable. I mean, this is just a fantastic, this is one in a million setting here. Now I'm going to park, and we're going to go start the video right there and then we're going to go inside and take a look at the house and i promise i'll get you some more pictures and video of the land once we finish with the inside all right before we walk up to the house i'll just give you a video as i'm walking up look at these trees over here just a great setting the yard's very cleaned up all of this land that you see goes with it old well house right there there is a well for the garden that's all what that is right there is garden storage shed there that's where the old barn, and there's some good rustic wood in there too. Soybean field over here that includes with this property, a barn over here. And guys, you can't even see the back of this property. It goes way back. Um, I'll try to get out there as far as I can for you. But walking up to the front, we have a huge patio. There are storm cellar doors, but there is a traditional staircase going down to the basement as well. Nothing funky about it, just it has the tornado doors here. Retaining wall here, and this patio is huge. Goes all the way, wraps around the building here. All the firewood can stay. There's a big stack of firewood on the back patio as well. These are all just the setting for the trees and sitting on your back patio and watching the deer run out here. And a huge back backyard area here for the kids, trampoline, stays, swing set stays. Not sure about the volleyball net, but I'm sure it could stay. And this is just on one side of the property, so this is kind of your side yard, backyard. And you can barely see, there's like a telephone pole way out there. That's the street. Cannot see a single neighbor anywhere. Next, I'm gonna stop the camera, and we're gonna go look at some of the outline areas. Actually, and I take that back, we're gonna go look at the inside of the house, then we'll pick back up on the outside. I'll meet you inside. 
All right, so here I just walked through the front door. This is the door that's closest to the driveway. We have multiple doors you can come in, uh, but this is the one that we came in for the video here, and look at how cool this is. This is pre-1850 barn beams in here. Gives so much character and charm. Home does have a historical you know, age on it, but it's still modernized to where you don't have all the inconveniences of having an older home like that. Wood burning fireplace does stay. This is a wood box here, and this actually does open, and you can store wood in there or games or whatever you would like. Very much even for an older home, very open floor plan here. That's the dining room right over there. We'll check that out here momentarily. And a big heavy duty steel I-beam that runs through here. And one cool thing, you can actually store stuff up there as far as decorations, put Hummel figures or you know, whatever you want. Uh, decorations for different seasons. You go into Thanksgiving or Christmas, so a lot of options here. Here's thing I can tell this is probably an addition on the front porch, so it makes a nice little office area. And pretty much every window in this home has a great view out of it. This would probably be technically your front door because that's the front of the street over here, but you'd have to walk through the yard. But again, great view out of every window. Nice storage in this home as well. All of this shiplap ceiling is new. All of these decorative lights stay as well. This is just a breathtaking living room right here. It doesn't look like it, but this is a really good sized home. I think we're a little over 2,800 square feet, not counting the basement. Massive dining room. I mean, this is a setup to see eight. Honestly, you could put one, two, three, four more at this table and have it be 12. Storage over here, and then our washer and dryer. Those are negotiable. All of the window treatments on this home are negotiable as well. And check out this kitchen. We'll get you a closer look here. But this was just remodeled. Literally just got finished up getting remodeled. Brand new granite throughout here. And this is no cookie cutter granite. Decorative. This is all one piece here as well. Pantry over here. And the granite continues over by the sink as well. And it's an undermounted stainless steel sink. All of the appliances do stay. This window overlooks... The patio, as does this window. So the patio wraps around the house. And again, great views out of every window here. This is just a gorgeous, gorgeous kitchen. Pendulant lights here are new as well. And you think that rounds out the first floor. It actually doesn't. And this back door takes us out to the patio. So it's a huge patio. Walking through here, here's the family room. This is a massive family room here as well. Set up as a classroom right now obviously this little quilt rack or coat rack here does stay I like the really large original natural trim on this home out this one you can see the volleyball net and the trampoline and the swing set swing set and trampoline do stay and the property goes over that way a good ways too so huge living room, huge family room. For this age of house, you typically don't see that. And I don't know what you want to call this room, a little sitting room, or it could be another office or a hobby room. And another door going to the outside. And then we do have a first floor bedroom, and there are four more bedrooms upstairs. So this is a five bedroom home. First floor bedroom is very nice. I think this is updated floor in here. This is the street. Of course, you can't see the street from the house. But if you're just to get your bearings, this is on the first floor on the front left of the home. Nice little cubby back here to put the gun rack. Closet in here. And again, I love this. I'm assuming to be original woodwork. Little flowers in that. And before we go check out the upstairs, have to check out this bathroom. This bathroom is amazing it was completely redone recently this is porcelain wood look porcelain floor here new vanity top this is a jetted tub and look at this tile work 
This is just gorgeous. Even crown molding in the bathroom. And if you're not a tub person, we do have a very nice corner walk-in shower, recessed soapbox in here. And you can tell the quality of workmanship with the tile here. It's just not your basic pattern. This is just a gorgeous, breathtaking bathroom. And again, not what you'd expect in the old farmhouse. And then coming around the corner, this is just like a coat closet, broom closet. This takes us down to the basement. We'll look at that here momentarily. And then we're back to where we started. That's where we started right there. So if you're counting them, we got one, two, three, four exterior doors. All right, next I'll meet you upstairs. All right, so here we just came to the top of the stairs. First thing I'd like to point out is more original woodwork. I'll give you a closer up view. Like those old rosettes here, huge casing. We still have the original doors and most of the original doorknobs in this home as well. Most of the windows have been updated, so they're not original windows, but doors and everything that gives it the character, and you don't have to mess with it. So bedroom number one, I may have the room sizes different, but this would be on the top. We're all on the second level now, left of the property if you're looking out from the street, which is that way. And one thing, old, a lot of these old houses don't have very big closets, huge closets in this place. Ceiling fan and about all the bedrooms, I believe. We'll double check that. Again, staircase here, we're gonna bypass the bathroom just to check out bedroom number two. And again, I might have the measurements different. That's really popular right now, the brick inside the home. So we do have a ceiling fan in here. So this would kind of be on the back left of the property. And again, all the window treatments are negotiable and great views out of every window. And this closet's not as big. Oh, sorry, got myself in the in there. That one's not as big, but still a really big closet. Coming through, bathroom. This is all fiberglass, um, shower tub and surrounded here, and a good amount of storage through here. That's floor to ceiling. Ship lap on the ceiling here, I believe that is new. Wayne's coating on the walls, and more storage over there, and a good size vanity. Love these doors. And come out here, we got two more bedrooms to check out. Bedroom number four, and bedroom number five. Now, one thing, we were gonna build a wall right here and put a door on it, but they didn't just because, you know, the kids could work interchangeably in here, but very easily, if you need a private bedroom, could throw a wall up here very easily. Oh, I take it back, one bedroom does not have a ceiling fan, but I think this is, 11 by 20 each of these rooms are so good sized bedrooms here this is on the back of the home here so this has a view of all of the back of the property just gorgeous and again good sized closet in here as well walk-in closet even in the kids room here next let's go check out the basement okay we actually have two ways to get down to the basement this is the old school uh, what you'd see out in Oklahoma or Texas with the cellar doors here that you can't access from the outside. So it is a walk-up basement there, but we do have the traditional staircase I pointed out to you that was across from the bathroom here. So you can get down here two different ways, which is nice because if you're bringing material in for a wood shop or something, you don't have to track it through the house, but really good sized space down here. Plenty of room for a ping pong table or a pool table. This section obviously I would say is not original or they redid it because this is all poured wall concrete. Floor joists are all modern. So this section here is a nice little tornado shelter here. Plenty of room for a workout. Uh, do have two sump pumps here. That's sump pump number one. But a great space down here. It's like an old stove over there. Guessing that's not in use anymore. This metal shelf here stays. That metal desk over there will stay. And then coming through here, this is where you can kind of tell we're getting to the original place. Furnace here is not too old, does have a humidifier that goes with it. Good amount of storage down here. And even on the original part of the house here, it does not have that feel like dungeony, but you can see the old 
brick in there where they've stuccoed over and updated panel box in here. There is a well pump over here. It's on city water now, but there is an old well that you can use for the garden. Here's their second sump pump, newer water heater. Here's our fuel oil tank. So there's the basement. I promise you we take a more look at things outside. So let's go outside and take a closer look. All right, so we just took a little quad ride. House is way up here. This is that first section of soybeans that you could see back here. There's a tree line here. And then all of this soybean field is included as well. The owner says there's about eight acres of woods here. Loaded with deer, there's been some nice bucks taken off the property here. Uh, this is all tenant farmed, and the tenant farmer does want to continue the contract if the owner wishes to. If not, they do know that it can be you know, taken back if you want to farm it yourself. Several deer stands in here, and again, great spot. I'll try to get you some other angles if I can, without if I can get back here without damaging some crops. All right, so we're in that back right section of field that you can't really see from the house. I'm in the front left corner, but this goes all the way back there. We got some trees over here, a lot of nice tillable land here, and a lot of nice hunting grand or just four-wheeling. And that's what we're doing right now, just checking it out. If you like four-wheeling, mountain biking, dirt biking, camping, God, this place is just awesome. I'll try to give you some other perspectives of the front field if I can as well. All right, so this is the, if you're looking at it from the street, that's the street up there. This is the far left side of the property. This is that shared driveway. It, it's a driveway that this property doesn't really maintain or use. It's just for the cell phone towers to get back here to maintain that cell phone tower. But this is, I guess, our southerly most point of the property. All soybean fields, as long as you can see that way as well. All right, so we've seen kind of the outskirts of the property as best that we can. This is one that you definitely want to walk and see yourself. But I want to give you some other perspectives up closer to the house, and then we'll call it a very long, short video. All right, so we've just finished up looking at the outskirts as that I could get to here. This is the tree line driveway that we drove up. This soybean field here is part of this property. And again, soybean field to the left here. Usually it's uh, soybeans or corn, obviously garden here to the left. We have a little kind of oval, almost heart-shaped driveway here. This is the old barn. There's actually some old barn wood in there. That's selling pretty good these days. But just a fantastic setting walking up here. And I'll try not to do a continuous one so this isn't an hour long. But this little section here is part of this. It's a beautiful little spot here. If you want a ginormous garden, this would be the place for it. Of course, we have all of this over here as well. Chicken coop stays. Chickens are also negotiable. Those can stay. We do have a large barn. Good size barn. I shouldn't say large. It's a good size barn. It's about the size of a two-car garage. I've seen the patio and all of that stuff already, so I'll spare you on that. So here's our barn. And I guess this will end up being a continuous just because there's so much to see and so much to talk about. Parking pad over here for the tractor or doubles as a basketball court. There's our one car door, but it's two cars wide and pretty deep and with a lean to, two car lean to over there. You feel this is just a great setting with all these trees here. Volleyball court, swing set trampoline all over there and these trees give you a lot of shade perfect spot for a hammock barn swing right there and actually as I say hammock hammock right there coming up over the hill here got the trampoline swing set volleyball net and then there's two huge sections so we kind of just to give you a bearing, we're not going to walk way back out there again. We have this section here, and it's a huge section, right? Well, there's another section on the other side, and we saw that. Just hard to get your bearings. You see where this tree line comes in over here? There's a whole other section of field over there that's the same size as this field, but we have about eight acres total of wood. So 
Guys, a place like this does not come along that often. So give me a call. I look forward to talking to you, answering any questions that you have, or give your realtor a call. I'm sure they'd be happy to help you out with this as well. Once in a lifetime opportunity here, people. So give us a call today. Thanks for watching.